Hi, this is Agnes here from Epscom Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to use credit note, how to generate credit note. Click sales, enter sales, and select your customer. And we are using a service layout, which means that if let's say you want to do the credit note, it's just purely to refund the money to the customer or just offset that your layout is using service layout, you will use this layout. If you want to do good returns note, it's also credit notes, you will change to item because you will need to touch on itemize. And the invoice transaction number, I will change to CN because this is a credit note, maybe CN 1002000. And here, I just description I put as a credit note. Tap button. Okay, select your account name will be return and allowance. We'll recommend you use different chart of account instead of using sales so you can know that how many credit note you have generate or how many um, good returns note you have generate within that month or that day or that year from the p and And 1000. And the very main thing is this is the credit note. You need to key the negative sign. Okay? And record. Of course, you can print out as a um, your credit note format if you have designed before. You can select and print out and click OK. And now we're going to apply this credit note. It's either refund to the customer or knock off to the invoice. Click sales, sales registered. Click return and credit, and you'll find this credit note. And you can select whether you want to pay refund or apply to the sales. Let's say apply to sales, which means I will knock off my existing invoice. I can just click it and record. Done. So if it's for the itemize, the item layout, same thing. Enter sales, select the customer, just your layout will be look like this. And ship is quantity, negative one, tap. And with your parts number that you want to refund or return. And maybe $10. Okay, and same thing. You can change the credit note running number at here. And you can print out if you want to and record. And the same process, go back to sales registered. You will find this and apply to the sales and click the particular invoice you want to knock off and click it and record that's all thank you